Hey guys, this is Aiden back from the next bringing you another Minecraft proper episode. So I'm in a cave right now. Uh, we left off in a cave last episode, but I did some mining around during that. And I found diamonds, so I decided to start in the next episode. Also because the previous episode was uh, done last time. So that should be going up either today or tomorrow. But here we go. We're going to mine our first diamonds of the entire series. That's how you know that achievement right there. That's how you know I'm not cheating. Uh, I'm not lying to you guys and like saying, "Oh, I just found these first diamonds of the game." If I didn't get the achievement, it means I mined diamonds earlier without having you guys here. So I'm near this lava. Uh, I had an issue earlier with like four zombie villagers, and I know there's a spawner around here somewhere, but I don't think it's here. Necessarily, and I also don't think it's gonna be a zombie villager spawner. But oh my god, do you imagine if it was? If I just continuously got the resources to turn them into villages together, villagers together, right? I could then just create a village out of zombie villagers, like lure them into traps and then just trap them, and later just turn them into villagers and have a whole village from zombies that were spawned using magic. I'm basically fabricating zombies at that point. That would be amazing. Uh, also, I have, hopefully, in the next couple episodes, I will be using a texture pack. Uh, I don't know if they're the same one. One's called Hot Craft, and the other one's called Hot Pack. And I used them back on my old channel, and they were actually the channel logo uh, for my Hot Collider channel. Is the logo for the Hot Craft pack, which is the one I use. I don't know if Hot Pack is different. I think that it looks pretty cool, though. Uh, so, I'm going to be using Hawkcraft, or Hawk Pack, whichever one it is, hopefully in the next few episodes, just to sort of represent our channel, since we use Hawks. That's a big part of our channel name, whatever. Thus, it would be cool to be playing with the texture pack again. I used to use it. I used to use it in Minecraft, which is what I play generally. Uh, and I think it looks cool, but I don't really play it. It's interesting, because I actually prefer to play Minecraft. In a lot of instances, I prefer to play Minecraft without a texture pack or anything. This is like generic Minecraft. Because I certainly have texture packs. I even have, um, uh, Pure BD Craft 1.12, which is a texture pack I was using for a very long time, and it is used by, uh, lots of YouTubers. You can see Persistence was, these are all old. I use this one, uh, it makes Elytra's look like Phoenix Wings, which they match my which is why my, um, Elytras in creative mode, my custom Elytras, are named Phoenix Wings. Because they look like Phoenix Wings. I don't know if that makes any sense. They're cool. That's all you need to know. This is the texture pack I used for a very long time. And I still think it looks cool as heck. But it does lag my game slightly. And so for the context of doing videos, I wanted to... Wow. Also, it feels super weird. To play like this, to play using this texture pack after, oh, how long's it been? Literally just until a few seconds ago, I had no texture pack on. So, I have to, like, it's like switching back into a new game. It's the same old Minecraft, it just looks so different and smooth now. Uh, so this was a texture pack I used for a very long time. Uh... I don't really exactly remember how long, because this is the one that all the, like, popular YouTubers use. Like, popular Minecraft use YouTubers, like the Yogcast and a few other people use this texture pack specifically. It's back to PBD craft. It's a super popular one. And so, I was under the assumption that I should use it too, because I'm a cool YouTuber. I'm a cool YouTuber. Maybe it's a secret to their success. I mean, that's a joke. Possibility. <laughs> Six diamonds, you guys. This trip is super successful. Look at this. Minecraft rails. I found a. I found a um. Dungeon earlier. I found a dungeon. Chest cart. We got much iron. I got almost two stacks now. I want to keep going until I find exactly two stacks because. Uh. Oh man, it's kind of difficult to play. Like this, just items wise, everything looks weird. I typically use this texture pack a lot when I'm playing Tech It. Because uh, I really like the way cobblestone looks, too. 
So, if you guys have seen my Tekkit videos, uh, you'll notice I use this texture pack a lot in Tekkit. Uh, because that's usually what I was, back when I first found out about this texture pack, uh, that's what I, that's who was the Ogs cast, who I'm still referencing even today, we're playing with this texture pack. Uh, well, of course, I'd be referencing them about this, because this is something I've done for a long time. They, I watched them a long time ago. I really only watch Martin now. I'm almost caught up, I promise. I'm almost caught up on Martin's, uh, <coughs> on Martin's Nino Kuni 2 series. Because I watched the original Nino Kuni series, and I really liked it. And I waited a long time for Nino Kuni 2 to come out, and I didn't even know it was coming out until a while back. And when I found out, I was really excited. And I was, um, because I knew Martin was obviously going to do a series on that. It's like when a new Zelda game comes out, man. You can't just not be excited about a new Zelda game. When Breath of the Wild came out, I was like, oh man, Martin's going to do a series on this, and I'm going to watch it, and it's going to be fun, and it's going to be a new Zelda game to watch. And the reason I say watch is because... I probably wasn't going to get it. I own it now. I own Breath of the Wild on a Switch, which I feel like I haven't played it in a few months now. And I feel like I should be. But I already beat the game. I beat the game, like, completely. And now there's not really anything left for me to do. I've sort of done a complete completionist run, other than all the shrines. I haven't done all the shrines yet. So that's something I've been working on uh, for a while now. Shrine quests are difficult for me. Sometimes they get tedious, and I get bored, and just stop playing, which I feel bad about. So, the game is really fun. And I have, I already played through both the DLCs, which I own, so thanks, Dad, if you're watching this. Uh, thank you, daddy -o, for being uh, my dad, and also getting me a Nintendo Switch, which is really cool. It's a really cool console. I don't know what else to say about it. <coughs> where exactly? Oh, it's this! The big room! Where I died. I died here. And I, uh, I found my way back. Confusingly. The cave system isn't as big as I thought it was, but it is definitely rather absurdly large. I have an axe. Let me ask you my question, and I'll tell you no lies. There's quite a few cuts in the last episode, but there's like none this episode, so that's nice. Uh, I know that at some point I will find, if I dig around through this mine shaft enough, I will find a, I will find a, what's it called? If I dig through this cave, uh, that mine shaft enough, I will find a dungeon. Because I've heard a spawn earlier. So I know there's a dungeon there somewhere. I'm trying to find the... Oh, okay. I guess there was a way up the whole time. I'm trying to find the uh, dungeon room. Because I want that dungeon boy. I want that dungeony boy. But I have an issue with... Um... I'm trying to find my way out. But I am quite lost. Okay, I know I didn't go that way because I've been mining up these rails wherever I see them. I need to go home mainly because my inventory is full. Like, look, it's starting to fill. It's not full yet, but it's gonna be full very soon. So. Ah! I need that! And there's a spawner right there. I can tell it's spawning things. Get back, a vast ye. I'm panicking, by the way, guys. Yeah. 
Melon seeds, yes. Mmm, that is tasty, you guys. I'm really glad that we got that because on our personal save, to this day, still no melon seeds. To this day. And I made a spot for melon seeds in like episode one, back when I was still doing a series on that. Episode one was melon, was like farm. And then melon seeds were added in episode, like with the farm. So they've been there since, uh, they have had a spot for them since episode one. And while I'm like, I mean, if we were still counting the episodes, since I don't really count the ones in that world, um, we feel like episode 10 right now. More than that, probably like episode 20. But I play it, the re I mean, if I was recording it, if I was playing it as much as I do this one without recording, I would be on like episode 20, because pretty much every time I'm playing this world, it's to record. I play it because I have my personal save to play survival when I uh, when I'm not recording, which is where I'd be on like episode twenty. But I'm not. But if I was, it'd be in a bit of a problem. I don't know. I, please, I'm I'm sort of losing my train of thought here. My point is that I'm a bit overwhelmed with how much cave I have found. Um. And I'm really glad I found melon seeds, because I needed those for a long time, and also, I am completely running out of room in my inventory right now, so, like, I'm gonna be out of inventory room within minutes, if we're not careful here. And I can't stop myself, there's just, I can come back down here for pretty much the rest of the series, by the way. This cave system goes on for miles, and then it connects to a ravine that I haven't even gone in yet, and there's still so much unexplored of this. So I think we're gonna have to go up. We're gonna have to go back and find what something we recognize, and we're gonna have to go back up to the surface, because... I can just explore this for literal years. I will never... well, I will eventually, obviously. But, I there's so much unexplored cave here. If we ever need resources, we'll be coming down here. Plus, there's a bunch of stuff where I placed torches and didn't and didn't mine up the ore because I was I will mine that though because I don't have a stack of coal on me yet. There are a bunch of places where I just didn't pick up the ore, like I saw it, marked it in my mind. I've already forgotten it by now just because of how much other ore I've seen. It's all been overridden by like. How massive this cave system is. I thought it was just a cool cave room. And it was going to connect to a few smaller caves that dead ended and around different places. No, no, this is infinite. There's practically no end in this game to how big this cave, how far this cave goes. Basically, no end. So, if you wanted to go home, too late now, boy. Too late. We don't need to be going this way. This way is empty. That way? This way. I'm still so lost, you guys. It's like a maze. Okay, we're just gonna have to dig our way out. My inventory is completely filled with the stuff, you guys. I even have an emerald and diamonds. No x-ray ticks back this time, by the way. Not unlike in my personal save, where I almost deleted the world just because I felt so guilty about using some x-ray ticks back to find ores. No, none of that. Don't have it. Uh, you can see it's still in my resource pack. Uh, you can still, I still have it downloaded, which... That's just because I haven't gone into the game files recently, but I'm, since I'm going to be installing that new hawk pack, I will be going into the game files soon, and I'll probably get rid of my 